Our next story is of a human-animal bond that seems to be something completely different, as they were both fully grown when they met in Los Angeles, California. I've come here to meet Dominic Erler. Three years ago, he was befriended by a goose named Maria. Hello. <laughs> Did you get a good night's sleep? Okay. Maria always seems pleased to see him. How are you? I'm going to take a walk. They're going to have a little moment by themselves. Bye, 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 bye. bye, bye, bye. Want to meet my friends? Hi. But is a little less enamored Hello. of strangers. Maria's going to check you out. That's fine. You're you can check me out well. all you like. The secret is just stand there. That's until cool. Until she gets a sense of you. What a cutie. The crew need checking out too, you know. Ka. Hi. Ka. Come on. <laughs> Definitely listens to you, doesn't she? Maria didn't always live here in the zoo. Up until two years ago, her home was a park in central LA where Dominic used to go for his regular morning walk. So how did you first meet? I'm walking around Echo Park Lake. I'm just about finished and coming in to leave. One of the park employees by the officer taps me on the shoulder and he says, hey, Dominic, uh, you know you're being stalked when you're walking around the lake. <laughs> and I said, uh, like, you know, what are you talking about? Because this is a big city park. There's gangs and stuff hanging around there. So he points to this goose about 50 feet away, and he just says, her name's Maria. He laughed. He thought it was funny. But I looked at Maria, and Maria was just, was just glaring at me, just glaring at me. And I just waved and said, hi, Maria. How you doing, Maria? And I thought it was kind of cute. I left, came back the next morning, and Maria came right to me, right in front of me, and just looked up so innocently. And I just fell in love, just like that. You're my friend. And within a matter of just a few days from her just circulating around me as I'd go, took the lead position. So Maria would always walk in front, leading the way. The pair quickly became inseparable. When you fall in love with a goose, you've got to be aware of what you're getting involved with. But their loyalty is phenomenal. Remember, they bond for life. So I basically feel like I have a certain sense of responsibility. For the local residents, they became something of a celebrity couple. One time we had 100 people marching behind us as we're walking around the lake and we're singing Maria songs. And I mean, it became <laughs> such a festive thing. It was really remarkable. Maria was like the Michael Jackson of the goose world. In 2011, the park authorities decided to drain Echo Park Lake, part of a two-year renovation program. For her safety and survival, Maria was moved to the zoo, where staff soon discovered that she may have been misnamed. We did a little Valentine's thing on one of the local TV channels or something, and it was a perfect relationship, unusual relationship, <laughs> a man and a goose, that uh, Dominic and Maria, and I, I think like a week or two after that, the, the head bed here calls me up, humorously says, hey, Dominic, you got a problem? And I said, what's that? He says, well, your girlfriend's a boy. <laughs> so Maria became Mario. Oh, Mario. Is he showing He's off? He's showing off. <laughs> but the bond is as strong as ever. You visit him every day, is that right? Every day. So it's part of my daily schedule. I love coming up here and hearing him. You know, it's nice to have an animal wag its tail and go ka ka ka. You know, it's it's great. That's the great thing about animals. They want to be our friends. Right, Mario? Baka. <laughs> but why did Mario want to be Dominic's friend? Geese are well known for being a species that imprints. In fact, they were the first animals scientists studied when they were trying to understand the phenomenon. But Dominic definitely wasn't the first thing Mario saw when he hatched. Dominic suspects that Mario was a domestic goose that had been abandoned at the lake, and so was looking for a new companion. And uh, he found me. And he determined I'm always safe to be with him. When he's with me, he feels safe. He knows I'm, I'm one of him. 
Jason believes that even though Mario didn't imprint on Dominic, those crucial few hours for the goose after it hatched were significant. Imprinting has a what's called a sensitive period. It's some, you know, so many hours, 13 to 16 hours or so after birth. Um, and then it gets locked in. So that, that sort of representation of what mom is supposed to look like doesn't change. Okay. Um, so you imprint and then that's your representation for the rest of your life. And okay. For the rest of your life, you know what mom looks like. But Mario met Dominic when it was already an adult goose. So what does that suggest? So it's possible if this is a case of imprinting, um, it's possible that Mario imprinted onto someone who looked a lot like Dominic. Um, when he was very young, mm -hmm. and Dominic may have certain facial characteristics or color of his hair or the shape of his facial hair, whatever, some, something that Mario recognizes as familiar. Mario has found in Dominic a companion he can rely on. And like all geese, he's protective of what he's got. His little nips are getting a little stronger every time, huh? But it's, um, <laughs> that's okay. When he attacks someone, it's not so much that he's trying to attack them to defend me, but really he's trying to keep me. In other words, I'm his property. Ow! So if you would see his behavior, he was basically showing all the other geese, keep your distance, this is mine. <laughs> any, any goose that would get near, there'd be feathers flying. That's where he would show the most aggressiveness. Ow, 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 ow. We're never going to find out exactly what happened in the early stages of Mario's life, but my money's on the fact that he probably did imprint on an elderly gentleman that looks suspiciously like Dominic over there. It just goes to show how strong an influence your early life experiences will have on how you behave as an adult.